And welcome to the eastern part of England. We find ourselves at Carrow Road. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Norwich City facing Burnley. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Brandon Williams, number eight, Billy Well, it doesn't make great reading for our hosts. Just look at this. It's the weakest attack in the league, and that's official. Well, there just isn't enough creativity in the team. Yes, the strikers haven't played well, but the service into them has been really poor. Unless they play with more freedom, I can't see where the goals are going to come from today. Good luck. Thanks. Good game. Have a great game. Thanks. Good game. Thanks. Cheers. Good luck. Thanks. Hey. Bye. Good luck. Cheers. Good game out there. Good luck. Cheers. Hey. Thanks. Bye. Good game. Good game. And here's the Norwich City starting 11. Well, they're playing in a 4-5-1 formation, which is set up to counter-attack at pace. Yes, they'll play with a flat midfield out of possession, but when they win the ball back, they'll break forward really quickly. Let's hope they play it well today. And this is the initial 11 for Burnley. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Ben Mee plays alongside James Tarkovsky in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And now they get the ball rolling. An effective ball. Moving into the advanced position. Veghorst. A very good tackle. Ben Gibson. It's Rashica on the ball. Puki. Wonderfully weighted pass. Real defensive commitment there. Ball's gone. Rashica. Temo Puki. A chance to whip it in. They really look after the ball when they have it. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Can someone get on the end of this? The idea was to get the corner beyond the first defender, but he didn't succeed. Les Malou. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And touched onto the frame of the goal. Decided to take on the shot from a difficult angle. Not a memorable effort, though. Well, you have to question the decision-making there. Could he have cut it back? The angle was always against him. Successfully cut out. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming.
Well, as you can see, Norwich have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and looked a real threat going forward. But they must take one of these chances while they're having this good period, but you do sense it's coming. Aaron's. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Really good timing stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. And a short corner, let's see. Rashica cuts it back. Still passing it around with authority. Matthias Norman. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Sergeant read it well. And a tremendous vision. Aaron's space and time for the cross. Josh Sargent. Rashica. Norman. Can he put them in front? And he clears it out of harm's way. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Maxwell Cornet. McNeil. Defended well. So nothing to choose between the teams at half time as the referee blows his whistle. Stuart, your impressions of our hosts? Well, we know about their lack of potency, and that hasn't changed today. But they've defended really well in the first half. Now the coach has a dilemma. If he gets his team to play more open football, do they then become vulnerable? What's he going to do? As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Les Melou. It's Rashica on the ball. Matthias Norman. And play halted, free kick given. Well, that could be the final warning. Well, he needs to be careful now. Next foul, and it's a card. Les Melou. Brandon Williams. Precise ball movement. Well, that's the end of that move for now. Charlie Taylor. Giving the ball away. Matthias Norman. It's Rashica on the ball. Brandon Williams. 
Norman. Well, getting the ball forward. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Number eight, Josh Brownhill, to be replaced by number four, Jack Cook. Who can they pick out? Well, did his job defensively. Superb block. The press was on, and it worked. Temo Puki. Really good challenge. Tarkovsky. Lennon. Aaron Lennon. Chance to finish. The goal to put them in front. And there's a turn-up for the books based on what we've seen in this game so far. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. To the final 20 minutes. Matthias Norman. A fine use of the ball. And fed forwards. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Well, as you can see, Burnley haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but their counter attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Matthias Norman. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Les Manu. And the danger is averted. This could square the game. But no, thanks to the goalkeeper, opportunity not taken. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek. The keeper's done really well there. But really, that should have been the equaliser. And there's not long left now. And the substitution will occur now. Number eight, Billy Gilmore, to be replaced by number 23, Kenny McLean. Well, I think the fans are doing everything they can to get their team back into this. But can they find that moment of inspiration and get an equaliser? Matthias Norman. Body in the way. And just five minutes remaining. Cork. And a good looking pass. Chance to play it in. Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that. Well, the fans are certainly playing their part here. Just listen to this noise. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. Well, still time for them to level it. Les Menou. Les Menou. Can he finish? And there goes the final whistle. One that got away as far as Norwich and their fans are concerned.
Well, we highlighted it before the game. Where would the goals come from? And again, they've lacked penetration. Nobody went past defenders with the ball and there was no combination play, which resulted in another lacklustre display. 